Welcome to another tutorial video regarding hydrometeorology. This time, I will show you how to estimate the missing precipitation data. We will be using the simple linear regression method. I will be solving this problem to show you how it is done. Annual precipitation data for two sites, Y and X, for period 1979 to 1989 are shown in the table. You may observe that the data of 1983 for Y is missing. Use the simple linear regression method to fill in such missing value. In the table, you can see that the data for Y in the year 1983 is missing. Our task is to solve for its value. The necessary formulas needed to solve its value are the following. This are formulas being used as the method required in the problem as the linear regression method. Before I will show you the solution, please like, subscribe and click the notification bell. We reconstruct our table and fill it with the necessary values. We have the year from 1979 to 1989. Followed by the order of numbers, followed by data X. Followed by data Y. We have the n value to be 10 because we exclude the data for year 1983. After that, we get the total and mean for the x and y data. In getting the mean, we do not include the values for the year 1983, this is applicable to all values of the mean, the same thing with the total. Do not include the values under the year 1983. Next, we get the square of the values for data x, then get the total. Next, the same thing with the data y, we get the square of the values then get the total. After that, we multiply the data for x and y, then get the total. The next column is to get the square of the difference of the data from x to its mean. After that, we get the summation. The next column is the same thing with the previous one. Get the square of the difference of the data from y to its mean. After that, we get the summation. After filling out the necessary values for our table, we now solve for the biased and unbiased standard deviation. The only values we will be needing in getting the missing data for y is the values for the unbiased standard deviation. However, it is necessary to compute still for the values of the biased standard deviation. We begin with the biased standard deviation. We will be using the values encircled by red. To solve for the biased standard deviation, we will be using this formula. Substituting the values, we have the square root of 113192 all over 10. We simply solve and we have the value for Rx of 106.3917. Next, we solve for the value of Y. We substitute values and we have the square root of 359906.9 all over 10, giving us the value of y to be 189.712. Next, let us solve for the value of the unbiased standard deviation. We will be using the values encircled by red. In solving its value, we will be using this formula. We substitute the values to obtain the answer. Then, we simply solve giving us a final answer for RXT of 112.1467. Next, for the value of the YT, we will be using this formula. We substitute the values and we obtain this equation. We simply solve and we have the value for YT to be 199.9630. After solving for the value of the biased and unbiased standard deviation, we proceed with solving the cross-correlation coefficient between x and y. To solve for its value, we will be needing this formula. The encircled values in the table are the values necessary to solve for the value of rxy. We substitute values to obtain this equation. Now, we simply solve and we have the value for RRXY to be 0.8168. After getting the value of the cross-correlation coefficient, we are now able to solve for the value of the missing data. 
The problem requires us to use the linear regression method. The formula to solve for its value is yt is equal to a added to b, multiplied to xt. In the problem, the year 1983 is the number 5 data from the table. With this, we obtain the equation, y5, is equal to a plus the product of b times x5. However, we still don't know the values for a and b, but, we have the necessary formulas to solve for their values. Now, we know that the formula to solve for the value of b is rxy times the value of the unbiased standard deviation of the y data all over the value of the unbiased standard deviation of the x data. We already solved the values a while ago so we simply substitute, giving us this equation. Now, we simply solve giving us the value of b to be 1.4564. Next, we solve for the value of a. To solve for a, we will simply subtract the value of the mean of yt minus the product of b times the mean of xt. Substituting the values, we obtain 763.1 minus the product of 1.4564 times 811. We simply solve giving us the value of a to be negative 418.0404. Now that we already solved for the value of a and b, we are now able to solve for the value of the missing data of y using again the formula, y5, is equal to a added to the product of b times x5, we substitute the values and we obtain, negative 418.0404, added to 1.4565 times 761, we simply solve and we obtain, 690.28 to be our final answer. That is now the solution to our problem. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell before you exit.